Troy Palmer boxing over the red corner. Billy Crow boxing over the blue corner. Two big, well powerful men in the boxing ring. This could be explosive. Here we go, round one. Nice fast hands from Palmer. Palmer can't afford to get distracted at any moment because Paul carries power. So far, Palmer's boxing really well. Oh, that's a nice right hand. Even though Palmer seems to be in control at the moment. He is dropping his hands after throwing some of these shots. Lovely right hook to the body. Switches back up to the head. Blood down from the nose of David Crow. Really nice boxer from Troy Palmer, nice and patient. Doing everything behind the jab, although he did get caught by right hand there. Not a massive amount of power on it. Paul's face is a bloody mess now as blood comes from his nose. Palmer's got a very powerful jab, you can see he's splitting the guard of and there's the right hand. Kicking his shots really well here, Troy Palmer. Good first round for Troy Palmer. Took a bit of a bound in there in that first round, so he's going to have to do something dramatic here in round two to find turn this fight around. And Troy Palmer just needs to do more of the same. Boxed really well in that first round. The only thing that's going to be super critical of Palmer was is he dropped his hands for a few times after throwing his shots. So that's maybe something that Paul can try and take advantage of. David Crow just struggling with the height of Palmer as, as well as everything else. It's better from Crow trying to move his head to get counter shots. At the moment, it's all Troy Palmer. Nothing really so far from Troy. Patient boxer from Palmer. 
but he doesn't want to get careless. That's the one area I think Palmer lets himself down. He is very open. He drops his hands quite a lot. Oh, it's a lovely left right as he pushes Kroll back into the corner. David Kroll not really offering anything so far. Credit to David Kroll, he hasn't stopped trying this whole contest, but he just hasn't been able to get anything going at all. Oh, that's a good left hook from Kroll. Good left hook, more of that. A glimmer of hope just on the bell there for David Kroll. Can he build on it in round three? It's all been one-way traffic for the first two rounds, apart from a glimmer of hope for David Kroll right on the, the bell there at the end of that second round. Manson Lander left hook and just momentarily Palmer's legs slightly bobbed. There's that left hook again. This is much better from David Kroll, needs more of this. Yeah, he's finding a nice bit of success with that left hook. Great to be joined on commentary by Fair of the boxing legend Tony Lafferty. I mean, I, I think if Troy Palmer continues to pop this jab out, keep the distance, he's going to be winning the fight for him. I mean, like he says, Troy's finding success with that left hook coming in. He needs, to take, he needs to take his head off the centre line, yeah. David Kroll, if he wants to try and win this, he's just going to bite down on his gun shield and just let his hands go. Yeah, 100%. I think we're at the stage now where he just needs to go for it. He's getting picked away nicely off that jab. I mean, Troy Palmer, all he has to do really is just keep on more of the same. Use his jab, use his reach, a little bit of footwork. Don't do anything careless. And most of all, don't drop his guard. I mean, like you mentioned earlier, I think we could throw in some level changes. I mean, there seems to be a lot of head turning here. But there, he's picking away at him nicely. There's that left hook again. I mean, um, he should be throwing other things. I mean, he's, he's coming away nicely with that job. But he should be double phasing, triple phasing, coming and coming back at the angles. But it's working for him at the moment. Last few seconds of the round. Last few seconds of what's been a really good fight for nice Troy Palmer. This is better for Troy. Troy coming back, yeah, good push. 